In part five, we're going to talk about a new menu called the general properties. So I have this scene with a bunch of different elements on the screen, and I have the general properties selected. So if I select the 3D primitive, for instance, uh, which is the purple bar underneath the text, you'll see that the general tab automatically changes to the 3D primitives menu. So this is where I can you know, change the skew and so forth. But if I then select the Los Angeles Lakers logo, the general tab automatically changes to reflect the 2D images menu. This is where I can add the DB linking and the metadata and so forth, the XMP metadata. If I then click on the movie file, it automatically changes to information about the movie, where I can change the movie and I can start adding new in and out points and loop points. So if I wanted to say my in point was there and my out point was there, that automatically would change that. And there's my text template. That's how I would change the justification of the text template for the 2D text. And if I click on the 3D text, it then gives me all the properties for the 3D texts, changing to be all caps, uh, auto erase, and so forth. So in this case, I don't have to right click on any of the files. The general property automatically goes to that. Now we've added a trigger button and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on this a little bit later, but this is what the trigger button does. It used to be called events in older software. This is where you could add transitions, pauses, macros, and so forth. So if I called up a scene, for instance, the lower third and on the effect in, I wanted to add a trigger to affect this off the screen. This is where I would add the trigger. So click on the trigger button. Make sure that the timeline is out that far. Now I could say I want to add. I want to add a trigger transition and I want to select the effect out. So that's how I would now play that scene to air and then at the, about the five second mark, it would affect off the screen. So that's information about the general tab in the new Lyric X. It really simplifies because you don't have to right click on the objects. The general tab will automatically change depending on what object you're selected in the scene.